Welcome to a bass gallery. Quick step agility with the strength to deliver a powerful punch is the very definition of a sports sedan, and Kia has largely but not entirely delivered on that goal with the Stinger. It's not for lack of trying. The Stinger, which is actually a hatchback, is built from solid hardware, on a version of the Genesis G70S rear-wheel drive platform. In the sports sedan world the Stinger is a tweener, splitting the size difference between cars like the BMW 3 Series and Mercedes-Benz C-Class and their larger stablemates, the 5 Series and E-Class. Following a few laps on the Nürburgring several months ago, this was our first drive of a Stinger GTAWD on local roads. All GTS are powered by the same twin turbocharged 3.3 liter V6 offered in the big Genesis G90 Luxa Cruiser and the Genesis G80 Sport. The boosted mill develops a healthy 365 horsepower and 376 lbft of torque and is lashed to a Kia built 8 speed automatic. Base stingers are powered by a turbocharged 2.0 liter inline 4 that makes 255 horses and 260 lbft and is also mated to the 8 speed auto. Both powertrains feed torque to the rear wheels but can be optionally mated to an all wheel drive system that's rear biased, and can send up to 50% of the available torque to the front wheels or 80% rearward. The GT standard equipment is certainly appropriate to its mission. Our AWD test car came with Brembo brakes, adjustable dampers, and Michelin Pilot Sport 4 performance footwear size 225-40ZR19 in front, and 255-35ZR19 at the rear on handsome aluminum wheels. The powertrain and chassis are controlled via a driving mode switch that offers five settings, Comfort, Sport, Smart, Echo, and Custom, the last of which allows you to mix and match suspension firmness, throttle mapping, shift programs, and engine sound enhancement. The mechanicals are bolted to a car whose styling promises they will be put to good use. The Stinger's hatchback body is adorned with an angry face and enough mean looking slots and grills to make its go fast intentions unmistakable. The interior layout is handsomely sporting as well, with a simple sweep of an instrument panel, clear gauges, a flat bottom steering wheel with shift paddles, and standard leather trimmings. Our track testing revealed that the hottest Kia does indeed sting like a bee, 60 miles per hour comes up in 4.6 seconds, it circulates the skid pad at 0.91 g, and it stops from 70 miles per hour in 164 feet. Kia claims that the car's top speed is governed at 167 miles per hour. Those numbers match up well with larger, much more expensive performance sedans like some that competed in a recent comparison test, including the Audi A6 3.0T competition and the Cadillac CTS V Sport. If the Stinger's footwork isn't honed to a razor's edge, it has another way to deliver a roundhouse punch to the performance sedan segment, Kia style value. The base rear drive GT comes with all the good stuff including the twin turbo V6, big tires, and Brembos for $39,250. All wheel drive adds $2,200. Our test car, however, had the full boat GT2 trim package, which loaded it with everything from active safety gear to Napa leather and boosted the sticker to $52,300. At that price point, there are other attractive sports sedan alternatives.